Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the Java Serve Let's and JSP series. This time I'm going to show you how to style your project that we worked on last episode to make it look awesome. So currently we have this, looks really, really bad. So we're going to make it look awesome, hopefully. And we're going to be using a framework called T Tailwind CSS. It's really powerful that it allows you to make really cool, um, nice looking web pages really easily using CSS. And yeah, so let's um, pull up this thing here. It's called play.tailwindcss.com. And this is just a thing that allows you to quickly come up with a style for your page. So you can um, use this easily to uh, make something. Um, so yeah, let's just select everything and then delete it. And we want to start off with a new fresh thing. Okay, so let's start off with a div. So a div, and this will contain our little thing. And inside of that div, we're going to have a simple h2 tag. So that's going to be like our title. So we're going to say compound interest calculator and then in the h2 tag. And we're going to style this h2 tag using Tailwind CSS. I know you guys might not, not know about Tailwind CSS, but it's really powerful because it allows you to use class tags to easily tell it um, what you want the page to look like or what you want the element to look like. Um, so for example, if we want this element to have a shadow we can do shadow and say shadow xl and now you can see there's a shadow so just really simple class tags and then those class tags apply a css styling to the element that you're applying it to and so let's just set a bunch of tags for this and if you want more info on tailwind css you can just search tailwind tailwind css and you can check out their page there there's also a bunch of videos on it i don't have any videos yet this is my first video using tailwind css but um, there's some out there that you can use to learn about it. And there's also really good documentation, like a bunch of examples on how you can use it. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to do class H2 class, and we're going to say text. And there's uh, if you do control space, you have autocomplete. So text dash for Excel, which will make it bigger. And then font semi bold. That'll make it semi bold. And then we want a border on the bottom. That'll just have like a little line PB two which will set a padding on the bottom of two and then a mx of six which will set a margin of the on the x-axis of six so there we go so now we have a little nice div here or not a div a uh, h2 tag with a little line on the bottom as like a divider type thing so under that we'll have our form so we'll have another div that we'll have our form inside of so we're going to do form like that. actually we can just copy it if we want to from our project. So let's uh, go back to our project and copy the form. There we go. That'll be easier. Okay, so now we want to style this form, make it look nice. All right, so first thing we want to do is make it so that there's a grid so that everything is like lined up basically. And we'll do that using a div here. We'll have another div that surrounds all of these things here so let's cut this there we go so now we have a div surrounding that and this div oh wait we need to fix the formatting there we go okay so this div is going to have a grid so class uh, grid and it's going to be grid and that's going to have a two columns so grid of columns of two and and then each uh, column is going to have a gap of four, so there's space in between each row. And then we're going to have a margin on the y-axis of five, and then a margin on the x-axis of eight. Okay, cool. So now we can style the, now everything's kind of lined up, so now we can style the labels in the input boxes themselves. So for this label here, we'll do a class, and we'll say text XL to make it look bigger, and then a flex, and then um, items center center control space center okay so now let's just copy that to each of the other uh, labels here so label boom boom and boom let me zoom out a little bit let's try zooming out okay there we go and uh, so yeah now we have the label for each of those and um, what we want to do now is set up the styling for the input boxes. So we'll go to the front here so y'all can see it. So class. And then for the input box, we want to do a few things. So we're going to set the width to full, so as big as possible, I guess, for the uh, surrounding container. And then a padding of one. 
and then a border of two. So the, the width of the border is going to be two. And then the placeholder, placeholder, blue, um, 800. And then border blue. So we want a blue border of 700. And then appearance, none. And then rounded. So we want the border to be rounded. And then focus whenever you click it. So that's going to be when you focus on it, I guess. Click it. So outline, none. And then focus, ring, two. And I, I coded this, by the way, if you're curious, I coded this ahead of time. So that's why I'm basically just, I'm basically at this point, I'm just reading off my, my project that I did before. Um, you know, that's usually not how I do my episodes, but in this case, you know, there's not much I can do about it. I'm really just showing you how to make something using Tailwind CSS. So it's pretty much just copying at this point. Um, but yeah, so now we, as you can see here, the input box looks really nice. It's nice blue. And yeah, so when you click on it, it has a blue ring around it, which is cool too. So, and then when you type on it, well, there we go. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, I think that's all we need for the input box. Um, let's just go ahead and copy that st same styling to each of these. So let's copy the class to the other input boxes. All right, so it's already looking better as you can see. Um, let's style the button at the bottom. So we have a calculate button down here. Um, buttons are my favorite, I like buttons. So class, so we're gonna do a background of blue. So blue 300, so that's a specific shade of blue. And then text is gonna be extra large. And then the font is gonna be semi bold. And then PX4, so a padding on the X axis of four, and then padding on the Y axis of one and then rounded, so it's going to be rounded, and then hover, hover, background blue, 800, so I'm, I'll show you what that does, so if you hover over this, it turns blue, which is really cool, I think. And then also, since it's becoming darker, we should also set the, uh, the font to white whenever we're hovering, so like this, so hover, text, white, like that, so watch what happens, boom, so now it's white, I think that's really cool, hopefully you like that too. So that's white now, and then, um, yeah, that button looks really good. So now we can go down here to the P tag and do class text 3XL font mono um, text text green 600. So now everything's green, it's bigger, and the font is mono. So it looks good. And what else do we want to do? Um, let's think here. So... Let's go back up to the surrounding div for the whole thing here. So the big boy div, and we'll have, give this a class. And we want to put everything in the center pretty much, as much as possible. So let's do a bunch of things. So first we'll do BG white. So everything's going to be white for the background. And then um, MX auto will automatically center everything to the center, or it should at least. So it, it pushed it ahead a little bit to the center. And uh, we'll do text center, so that'll put our text elements in the center right there as you can see which is cool so text center and what else um the width is going to be one half of the page and the padding on the y-axis is going to be five the shadow is going to be extra large rounded border of 3xl and then the margin on the y-axis is going to be 96 and then the max width is going to be 2xl like that so as you can see, um, we have a little change. We have a couple changes here. We have this little box here that's surrounding here, and then the, the surrounding uh, background is going to be blue once we add it back to our JSP page. It's hard to do it on these because it, it doesn't really work that well. Let me try it. So class BG blue, like that. So it doesn't apply to the full page. So we can we can test that out once we get it back in the JSP file. Anyway, so it looks nice already. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. So. Um, it also, it's responsive, so as you change the size of the page, it like rescales itself. So when it's when it's smaller, it looks pretty bad. It's not fully responsive, but it looks decent. So this is what it looks like on bigger screens, like that. So, pretty cool. So what are we missing? Um, let's add a few small things. So for the label here, we can have a dollar sign after the thing. So a span here, and inside the span, we'll have a dollar sign. So span, like that. 
and we can style the span if we want to. We can style anything. So we'll do text gray 800. So text gray, actually we'll do 500. That looks better. So 500 and then MX1. So there we go. So now we have a dollar sign before it. So let me zoom out or expand it. So it looks pretty good in my opinion. So uh, that'll put the H2 tag back in there because it was up here by default. So I just moved it back within the div. So yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Um, looks awesome. One thing that we're missing is going to be the error. So we want to have a thing for the error whenever there's an error. So we'll have a simple P tag here. We'll do an H3 tag. It actually doesn't matter what tag you use because um, the classes will override that basically. So for this, we want to do, let's actually have some sample text here, here. So error, there we go. So the class for that will be, let me zoom in again for you guys. There we go. And so the class for that will be BG red 300. So we got a nice red background and then the text is going to be red 900. So a nice dark red text. And then the font is going to be semi bold. The text is going to be extra large. Width is going to be 80 rounded border at large my2 and mx auto so we center it look at that thing that looks pretty awesome so let me zoom out again look at that it looks pretty awesome in my opinion so we got the error so whenever we forward an error as an attribute back to the jsp page it'll look like this that's how it'll be displayed inside of okay so let's try cutting this or copying this and take it back to our project here and try it out so if we just zoom out a little bit and put this in place of this and then we can set the body to have a background of blue of, I think, 500. Yeah, yeah, 500. And we can get rid of this one here. And then in case you're curious, how do you get the autocomplete uh, for the uh, Tailwind CSS classes within IntelliJ? There's a Tailwind CSS uh, plugin you can use within the marketplace in case you want to try that out. And uh, one more thing we need is the actual style sheet for this thing here. So let's go to have it. Well, let me show you where you can get it from for yourself. So if we go to Tailwind CSS, go to their website real quick, go to documentation, go to installation. And if you zoom down, you can find find the CDN. So here it is. So this will automatically uh, add the style sheet to your project basically. So let's put that right here in our head. There we go. So that should apply the style sheet to our uh, thingy here. So let's try this out and see what it looks like. All right, so here we go. Here's our project. Let me zoom out again. And that's how it looks like. So that's uh, exactly what the example I showed you looks like also. So that's pretty awesome, except we need to get rid of this. That was just a sample. So let's get rid of that. And we'll change it to dollar sign error. So it'll display the error attribute if displayed or provided, right? So let's try this one more time. Okay, okay, so let's try providing some stuff. So 300, uh, 20, 20%, eight years, and two times a year. So calculate, and boom, we get the results along with everything provided back as a value. And let's try producing an error. So let's get rid of this and try calculating it again. And it says one or more of the input boxes were blank. Try again. So I don't know about you, but I think that looks really, really awesome. I'm really bad at CSS, so this framework allows us to do some really awesome stuff um, really easily. So I, I recommend you use it too. And yeah, that's it for this project. This was our first servlet and JSP project. I hope you liked it. Um, we're going to be doing more in the future, like I said before. So if you have any ideas for what you want to try making, then let me know in the comment section below and I might do it. And yeah, so anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be learning some more stuff. So stay tuned. And so in the description below, I'll be leaving a link to the code for this episode for this project. So you can check it out and use it as a reference if you need the code. And also I have a link to our Discord community. If you want to join the community, you can uh, get some new friends, ask for help with your pro programming, um, you know, just talk about programming, whatever you want to do, just join the community. And also, if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video. You can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month. So uh, yeah, I recommend you join that because it will support me, support this channel, so I can keep making videos. And uh, you get some cool perks, like a cool Discord rank, so you can show everyone how cool you are. Um, you also get early access to all of my new videos, just like this one here. This was early access for my members. 
So if you want to see my videos ahead of time, you can become a member. And also you can see your name on the screen like you see right now. So if you're interested in that, then please join. If you don't have to though, I appreciate everyone's support no matter what. So thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.